on average, every 39 seconds, a plane takes off or lands at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. That's something to see because when it comes to takeoffs and landings, it's the sixth busiest airport in the world. There's no airport this busy in Europe. There's no airport this busy in Asia. So how did it get this busy? We asked Sean Dorsch, the chair of Charlotte's Airport Advisory Committee. I think there's two really key things that have happened. The first was the decision by Charlotte to build a hub for Piedmont Airlines. That happened back in 1979. Back when the old terminal in Charlotte had a lounge upstairs, you could smoke inside, and there were no jetways, just stairs. In the last two years, uh, you know, the traffic has increased so much. The reason? Airlines had just been deregulated. Ticket prices were going down, the number of flights was going up, and more people started to fly. That made this old terminal, which is still here at the end of York Mountain Road, seem small. So the city started knocking down trees and built the terminal we have today. It opened in 1982, yeah. jetways and all. The hub we have today, it could have been in Winston-Salem, it could have been in Greensboro, but those communities were not willing to expand their airports. We were willing to do that, and we did. Piedmont and its hub were eventually swallowed up by U.S. Airways, and Charlotte ended up being in prime position. Charlotte is located more geographically center to where the majority of the population lives in this country than any place else. The second thing, one man, who kept costs down. We've been extremely fortunate that we've had an airport director like Jerry Orr who has run things in an extremely frugal manner and ensured that Charlotte is the lowest cost place to operate a hub in North America. That's not just important for airlines, it's important for business. Like Chiquita, for example. Clearly the airport played a very important role. That's Fernando Aguirre, Chiquita's former CEO. That role? convincing Chiquita to move from Cincinnati to Charlotte. It was clearly a, a profitable airport. It would be very difficult for the airlines to change their minds and make a significant change to Charlotte, uh, the way that it happened to Cincinnati. Cincinnati was once a big hub for Com Air. It now has about a fifth of the flights it had in 2001. Cincinnati was one of the most expensive airports to run. So Chiquita came here because more flights were nonstop and the costs were low. This shows us that the airport really is, in many ways, the primary engine of economic growth for our region. That's the past. Now, the future. Charlotte is wonderfully positioned for vast growth. The airspace above us, as crowded as it is, is relatively empty compared to Atlanta and the Northeast. And construction on a fourth parallel runway is expected to start next year. With a 12,000 foot runway, we'll be able to launch 747s direct nonstop to Tokyo. And so I believe that the merger is going to bring direct flights to Asia. A fifth runway is on the drawing board, meaning someday, decades from now, the planes that take off or land here every 39 seconds could be doing so every 15. Now that would be something to see. At the airport, Jeremy Markovich, NBC Charlotte.